Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to do Paper Cuts by Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to my YouTube channel and clicking that bell notification because it really helps me out, and I appreciate that. All right, let's do it. All right, to start with, it's a B power chord, and I'm going to first show it to you on the 7th fret E string. Down, 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 up. And there's a little rest in there, and then you go to the 4th fret, and that's a G sharp. So... rhythm it's one rhythm pattern for these two and then the same rhythm pattern for the next two chords so it's seventh fret on the E rest four then up to D sharp which is sixth fret a string and then boom 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 down 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 and so that's an E finally at the end there and that's the seventh fret A string, a half step up. So, and then it starts over on the E. So, seven, down to four, six, up to seven. Then on the E string, so B, G sharp, D sharp, and E. There's another part going on. And the easiest way to play that would be second fret on the high E and then the open B string. Simple little line, uh, I'm going to play it 14th fret on the B string. And so you're hitting that, there's a lot more distortion than that on it, uh, with sustain, but uh, so that 14th fret B, whole step bend, back down natural, then 12, 11. Second one. Then up up a half step to that 12th fret B. All right, overdrive kicks on. And if you're just playing it by yourself or, you know, without a bass player, you can just keep playing those power chords. Maybe you could add your pinky. <laughs> You know, this is the next rhythm. But if you're playing in a full band or you've got a bass playing the root underneath, you can play, you can add what's called the fifth to the base of your chord and you get a really heavy sound. So you can mix it up with the two finger power chord. And, and then also have the, sorry. Uh, so the only one you couldn't do it for is this G sharp. So in other words, you've got a B power chord right here. And you just play that second fret E below it. And then for that G sharp, you play it the same way. And then that D sharp, you can now do what we did here by playing, adding the sixth fret low E there. But without the lower bass holding it down, sometimes you, you can't get away with it. Without it.
et cetera. But the, the rhythm changes for some of the dynamics. Um, you can make simple power chords or the fuller ones to change the dynamics as well, but it stays that chord progression. All right, hope you guys dug the lesson. Uh, if you wanna see another lesson or you have a request, let me know in the comments below. And then once again, I appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel and clicking that bell notification. Also, tons of great links below. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you later.